for you. My name is Brian. Today I'm going to tell you about the story of flying. It's a describe. Not so long ago, people were stuck on the ground. They could only watch as birds soared above them. But some men were determined to fly. In 1487, an Italian inventor named Leonardo da Vinci made a drill plans for a flying machine. He was sure it would fly. But he uh, couldn't uh, build one that worked, so no one believed it. <coughs> one year later, a man uh, called John Damien the man decided to copy birds. I shall fly from Scotland to France. He inquired, Why are you pair of wings made from real feathers? You find them uh, to the top of the tower. But John, Diem, uh, uh, but John Damien didn't reach France. He didn't even reach the next village. Instead, he died and hit first to a donkey. A French inventor, Quimet Adur, decided to copy bats. He built an enormous pair of bat wings and stuffed them to the steam engine. But that didn't work either. Some people they able to attach wings to their backs. But they could never ever pedal fast uh, enough to lift off. Ventures realized they would need uh, more than a few pounds or a bike to fly. They would need a specially built machine. In the 1850s, the 1850s, scientist Sir George Cayley built a very same thing. It was a glider that was pulled uh, down the slope. and a gust of wind caught under it, the glider rose into the air. Sir George the coachman sat in the glider of water for his first flight. He didn't want a second trip. The problem with Sir George's glider was that it needed wind to fly. Wind to fly. While if it was the temple, uh, built his, he had an engine. It went ran down the ramp to get the speed and flew. But not for a while, the engine was so heavy it soon crashed ground. Yet still, inventors refused to give up. One day, they were sure that someone would build a plane. First planes. Over over uh, over the right were brothers who lived in America. They built bikes, but what they really wanted was to uh, to build a wood plane. Their first machine was glider, by Sir George's. In strong wind, it could lift off the ground on its own. Orville, uh, Orville and Wilbur White flew and crashed and flew and crashed for all the time they were running about flying. They built uh, then. They built planes with engines. They and uh, these are had spinning wavers. Wait, couple powers. Finally, they had a way and that they were sure would fly. They uh, were excited, and they were so excited, they tossed the coin to see who would fly first. Wilbur won. He crashed. It took two days to fail the plane. Then, on December 17, 1903, it was Orville's turn. Gently, he climbed into the cockpit and started the engine. The plane took off and it flew. But taking on wasn't as easy as sound. The Wright brothers had a, a to build a track and pulley system to help. Weight, uh, weights were fixed to the rope, which were tied to the plane. Kenneth started the engine, the weights dropped, and the plane stopped on the launching track. This helped the ability speed to lift the plane to the air. So, lots of people were building planes. Most designers used engines developed from cars. In 1909, the world's first ever air show was held in a field near Rome, in France. Although three, uh, 38 planes took uh, part in the show, only 23 managed to take off. There's all, uh, there were all kinds of competitions to see who could fly the highest, longest, or fastest. Foreman won the non-stop flying prize. He flew 108 kilometers in just over three hours without stopping to refuel. The prize was the that was rent to the Curtis Golden Flyer, flown by Hawaiian Curtis, which flew in Quimbo 75 kilometers an hour. The watch of the air show was the Rangoon 1. It was as heavy as a wood from horse and as wide as a great white shot from Winton to Winton. Many planes have, uh, uh, have built their own plane using a wood or metal frame, which they cover in a cloth, and most of them have stuck to the wings, brothers tried and trusted design to fly plane. But the start of the uh, round airship was the pilot of the Warrior, 
All right, my heart rate here, blown down his single wing monoplane across the English Channel at 1,000 pounds. 1,000 pounds? 11 times 50. He, uh, he then set on from the appeal in France at dawn, exactly climbing uh, into his top eight of his Lariat 11. That was the 11th plane he had built, half an hour later, he went in and Dilbert and Cap for breakfast. For a while, the excitement by fly shook the world, but by 1914, places were no longer so new. Science, with the First World War right now, he wanted other things in their mind. Pirates began uh, to fly spying trips across the enemy land. Later, they even saw a uh, fought each other in midair, although some lives didn't have much to attack them. We need planes uh, built for fighting, they cried. So the planes, uh, so plane bearers stuck guns in the, uh, on the front. They uh, wanted to build bombers. Planes with guns stuck, they also dropped bombs too. In any way, plane designers built Capronas which were enormous bundles. These have guns on the back as well as the front, and have a uh, carrying them appeal to fly all day. Have some flax on the wings, and three extra, uh, extra rudders on the tail, all to help the fire steer as he soar over enemy land. Capronas are good, uh, thought Anthony Fumper and Holland, but I could build better, and you use a tricycle with three wings on each side, and one way it can uh, turn a little quicker, goes in plenty. Cried the Red Baron, who was a terrifying, who was a terrifying German pilot. He wanted to shoot uh, down a record eight, uh, eighty enemy planes on his Falkler triplane. A water hot fan. Triplanes were the only start. Over the next forty years, all kinds of planes were built. Several were so ridiculous they were not last long, but planes were all, uh, only the only way to fly. Like the first way, the first hot air balloons were invented by brothers, the Montgolfiers. Were French. Notice the air, uh, hot air rises. Then the idea of traveling in the big bag, which were both that, uh, which were then pulled up. They filled their first balloon by holding it to the fire. Their second uh, balloon, even had passengers, a duck only struck at one fire station. So the Montgomery's had built a balloon of one giant scare people. They put a fire in place to keep the air in the balloon hot. Then, in the jail floor, the bull, uh, a bull maker took the ski to the sky, filled with a bull shaped like a giant fish. Captain Kevin uh, Wendell was sweating a weight along a rope. Sweating a weight along a rope. The first one to cross the channel had wings, but it didn't really work, and it was a much cooler trip than Willie uh, Marriott's. The pirates were they were they crashed. We uh we have to make the world wider, shouted the flying pan, took all his clothes and threw them to sleep. In eighteen fifty two, uh the French uh man ha uh, Henry Jeffrey tried something new. He built the world with a propeller which worked by a ski engine. It was so large people caught an airship. A few years later, airship and flown to the side of two blue whales. Wait, what? They look like uh they look a little like whales too. But I like whales, their size were, uh, were filled with huge gas tanks. The most famous of them is the Graf Zeppelin, uh, was a fly hotel. In 1929, the Graf Zeppelin was blew around the world in only three weeks. People in uh, was savage. Nothing uh, had gone around or so bad. And the Syrians fired the sword, and there's it, and no one went to fly. Okay, so that's the end of our disaster, right? Guys, there was another invention that made more fun. Helicopters. You know that one. Fire and friends had combined the plane with a balloon. They were talking about an instrument in plane, but rotor blades were in the wings. So, roasting the air with the balloon, they had invented the helicopter. In 1907, Paul Cornell made the world's first helicopter flight. But he, uh, but he was only in the air for 20 seconds and didn't rise as high as a man, so most people missed it. Well, next three years before he helped Project Fly powerfully, in 1939, Igor uh, Sikorsky built his VS 300 in America in 1940 and managed to find it. Igor's next helicopter, the R 4, had space for two passengers. This so, uh, this so impressed the American Navy, he started uh, with RVs used in the Second World War. Help 
Robert does the science, went down to experiment with two little boys. This helped uh, uh, make the health bar more stable. It can also put more with the chino to carry up to 44 passengers. The health filters are used by our many and navies. It might be used to help police uh, to keep our traffic over to six persons to the nearest hospital. It can be used to ch uh, chase escaping criminals and not only in movies. One health filter has been made to avoid vast wells too heavy for trains or trucks. The sky plate, which was a half filter, had print to put a uh, wells bringing as much as the half. Just uh, 100 years after the White Brothers flight, planes uh, planes rules and health cars built the sky. Lights and force have been built to cope with the hundreds of planes which fly over the world. Houses and passengers work planes in way for work or travel, but many of them also fly planes for fun. And riders themselves for fun. Riders alive and uh, were very small inside. They also don't have no engine, which was the only common thing they had. Only thing they had common was a uh, George K. Week machine. To fly a wire, you must uh you must first be washed to the air. The easiest way to do that is get a tilt with a front friend with the plane. When the pilot was high up, he'll release the tilt rope and you'll be alone in scrap. Rice float on the columns of warm air after rising on one, pilots blow their gliders and race down to the next. Pilots not only take max, they also plan, uh, take plenty of food and drink on the train. They find the warm air to fly down. Fly can last all day. A uh, fly can be tricky, as it's also expensive, so many people go hang by instead. First hand glider was invented by American, by American, Francis Bogolo, in the 1960s. His Bogolo weight was actually stretched to a flyer, which runs down high up to take off. Other hang gliders have thin nylon wings that trap air underneath them uh, to fly with strong, uh, with strong enough wings to fly and stay up the air for hours. Even the young white kinds can still enjoy flying. Ever since the realms, air shows have given plenty of opportunities for flyers to avoid making stops. Some pilots roll their planes all the way around inside the cockpit, and the pilot had a very strange view of the air. Popular jet that's almost as old as the Ravens' first plane is wing walking. It's also near as dangerous. Fire walls are dangerous too, but pilots sometimes uh, fly low to destroy their control skips. The most experienced flyers can come so close to the ground they their repairs cut with tape. A few uh, a few even do this trick upside down. Single planes can uh, do all kinds of aerobatics in the sky. They fly in a big circle, looping the loop, or make a bigger loop. Or I can reach a infinity symbol. The infinite symbol. Lots of white smoke uh, trail behind them to show people uh, on the ground exactly where they've been. Flying a group of planes, uh, group of planes flying together can be even more spectacular. Like by one day, the others can uh, fly in the wide or make a V shape in the sky. Planes, balloons, and helicopters aren't the only way to fly. That's just a news report a man named Mary invented. People in China were the two rockets. But as there were no way records, you don't know how well they flew. About 200 years later, armies began to use rockets in battle. By the time the Second World War broke out, well, rockets were even more powerful. I didn't realize they could use battle rockets in space. October 4, 1947, the first space machine was launched by the Russians. It was a tiny, a tiny was tiny and named Sputnik 1. Just four years later, the Russians launched Volstagg 1. His fire will redirect became the first man to fly into space. American science uh, to join the race. Race uh, that began to say who will be the first to send a man to the moon. American scientists built a Saturn V, the greatest rocket in the world. In July 1969, uh, it was blasted into space. Soon after that, the Armstrong became the first man to step on the most of the sound of being was made up of booster engines. You need vast amounts of power to blast it out of place. The astronauts were squashing to the tiny command module at the rocket's trip. Hit. Boosters and uh, engines fell away as the rockets grew higher, but the command module was the only part to return to it. The uh, 
Batman and Lady are space fights for a man with rockets. But as they could only use could only be used once, they weren't very practical. The American scientists invented the space shuttle. The shuttle was launched like a rocket, but then the booster engines and fuel tanks drop off. The shuttle's engines take over and flies just like the plane. Today, shuttles carry astronauts and scientists into space to repair satellites and carry their experiments. They often wait and work on them for months at a time. Shuttles often have been used to put giant telescopes in space. As you read this, astronomers are wanting to uh, uh, more about parts of the universe millions of miles away. Places that people may find their voices.